In this video, I'll show you how to set up your Roku TV with a antenna to get local channels for free. And this works with any sorts of Roku TV. This is the on branded, but it works with Hisense, with uh, Panasonic, with Insignia and any other brands as well. So let's get started. First of all, you need an antenna like this one, but obviously there's many other models. I'll put links in the description if you want to get one of these from Amazon. This is not the best one, but it does the job, especially where I'm located. So first step, get the antenna and then we have to connect it in the back of the Roku TV. Now, depending on the brands, your antenna port may be located at different places on the back. Mine is over here. We can clearly see the antenna port, but maybe yours is under here. Take the cable and you just have to press like this and then we have to screw it in so it doesn't move. This way the cable will stay securely there and even if I'm um, trying to remove it this way, nothing moves. Then the next step is to position this antenna close uh, to a window. Over here I don't have any windows around so I'll just randomly put it over here but if you can try to put it there and if you see that it doesn't have much reception well then you'll be able to move it around. Okay now take your remote control and we'll have to navigate in these options over here. So press the left side arrow once another time and you need to select live TV. Then press the OK button on the remote control. Next step, they will ask you from where do you want to get your live TV? Well, we need to select antenna. Go down, press OK. And now it will start scanning for channels. You just have to wait and the TV will do the job by itself. So right now it has found zero. Don't worry, wait. Okay, now it have, has found two, three. It's getting better. Now, depending where you're located, you may have hundreds of them or maybe you only have two or three. This does not depend on this setup. It depends on your location. But as I said, if you see that you don't get all the local TVs that you're supposed to, try to move this antenna around and sometimes this makes a huge difference. All right, it has now stopped scanning and it has found six channels. So now all you have to do is to press watch live TV by pressing the OK button. Now the TV's channels you're seeing right now are a mix between what your antenna is receiving and some internet channels that Roku offers you for free. So if I'm uh, just shuffling like this with the up and down arrow, I can go through all of them. Channels from the antenna and channels that are from the Roku. Now, what if you only want to watch channels from your antenna and you don't want to have them mixed together? Because there's many channels. I think there's over 500 free internet channels. and some people only want to watch the local TV. So what you need to do is to press the home button on the remote control. And then we need to go over here in settings. Press OK. Then you need to go down until you see TV inputs. Press OK on the remote control. Go down until you see live TV. Press OK again. Then go down until you see manage manage channels then press OK and then you need to click over here to check this okay hide streaming channels this way we only see the local channels so now once this is checked press the home button and go back into live TV And now this is only our locals channels, nothing more. Over here on the lower left side, you can see the, the, the strength of the signal. You see, I only have two bars, one bar here 
and sometimes oh, it jumped to four bars sometimes if the image is not clear enough it just means that the signal is not strong enough and you have to move the antenna you can also have more information about your local channels by pressing the left side arrow once and here you're going to have a tv guide with every um, local tv channels and what will be next you see you can see all the futures shows and everything so i hope this tutorial was useful if so please leave a like comment down below and don't forget to subscribe